Hello, just doing a Quick Charge 3.0 charging test on the new LG G5. As you can see, it's already at 42%. I've been charging it now for roughly 21 minutes, just to confirm. Twenty-one minutes so far, and we are already at forty-two percent. I'm using the Tron, Tron Smart 3.0 ball adapter. You can't really see it too well. There it is. Right now it is at forty-three percent, and I will get back to you soon as it is at a hundred percent and I also have the stock LG G5 charging wall wart which is it's 9 volts at 1.8 amps but it doesn't actually look like the one included is actually a 3.0 charger from what I can see so that is why I didn't go ahead and use it obviously for the initial charge test just to see what would be the fastest but I can also do another one with this one. They've kind of changed the design of it too from the previous wall ward a little bit. Alright we are about to approach the 30 minute mark. Show you and the phone is now at 57 percent. Also, you can have a general size comparison to the G4. The G4 obviously being slightly taller, um, but roughly within the same dimensions, roughly. Obviously, the new G5 is a bit narrower and also a bit thinner, which is also nice, always, obviously. Alright, the G4, as you can see. A lot of people have been complaining about build quality on their G4 model, but I have actually not experienced really any issues. I think the phone so far is really nice. Uh, screen brightness is outstanding. Um, some people are reporting over 700 nits of brightness in certain situations, which was what we were initially told, which is positive. It's always nice to see that great brightness. Don't have any real blemishes that I noticed on the paint job. This is the titanium model, Titan model, I should say. And I'm also recording this video on an HTC A9, HTC One A9. Right, and sorry for the rough videography. Just wanted to get this out just so you guys can see. And then we will come back in the next 30 to give you the full workup after an hour of charging. Just to see if this one hour charge time is actually true. And at the 30 minute mark already, already at 60%. If you can see that, can't even see that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we are now at the hour mark, as you can see. Check the time now. The device has been charging for over an hour, it's at 93%. Pretty awesome, I think, for a phone to be able to charge. 2800 milliamp battery. Again, a Transmart 3.0 charger. Really, really good charging. It's not warm at all to the hand, which is amazing. There's really no heat that I can feel. Um, the device is completely powered off and it was completely drained. And as a little detail, um, if I can zoom in here, pinch in, the uh, LED light pulsates. Um, while it's charging, which is a little attention to detail that a lot of people may not realize. But it's pretty nice. It's kind of nice, I think. All right, and then we will be back shortly when the phone is at 100% to see where we stand. All right, we are now at 100%. Just finally got there at an hour and 16 minutes, roughly, which is not bad at all. Obviously, it was a really rough test. I, I saw that there weren't very many charge tests for the Quick Charge 3.0 yet, so I figured I'd make one. And that is it.